Greetings, Willow Lamashant here with your reading to awaken your consciousness for Friday, March 29th. Hope you're having a great week. We are on the last day of the week for those who work Monday through Friday. Um, I'm just really excited to be here today. Let's go ahead and get these cards shuffled and see what our divine source has for us and in the way of guidance today. One more time. All right. Let's see what she has. I'm going to pull our three cards for today. Okay. So the first card that came up is the reversed Five of Cups. Now when we look at the Five of Cups, we're feeling that somebody may feel sadness or loss, but when it's reversed, I'm getting the message that we need to pay attention to seeing things in a different perspective. Rather than seeing the, ha the cup half empty, try seeing it half full. Instead of trying to see the bad in every situation, instead try to see the, the good in every situation. Sometimes things don't turn out the way we expect them to, okay? And always remember to count the blessings that you still have in your life. Even if something is taken away or lost to you, you still have things to be grateful for. So you have to remember every day to be in that state of gratitude and see what you have to be grateful for. And your second card, the reversed three of swords. Now it's talking about healing again. Maybe someone out there really needs to understand that it's okay to take your time if you're healing from something. We're also healing all of these human emotions that we have daily. And... We're healing our spirit on our journey as well. Sometimes, you know, we've had to lose everything to realize what we really have. I've had my house burned to the ground when I was 42 years old and I lost everything and I restarted my life. And the only thing that was left that I found were a few spiritual items. And that said everything. I knew it was time to pick up and get moving on my journey again. But sometimes we must lose in order to clear ourselves from whatever might have been holding us back. Um, and it's okay to grieve that loss. There's nothing wrong with that. We need to do that as a spiritual being. But then try to lift yourself back up by seeing the blessings that you have in your life and be grateful for each and every one of them. And our third card is the Queen of Wands. And when we look at her in the way of spirit, she's about nurturing our spirit, nurturing ourselves on this journey. What are you doing to nurture yourself? Are you taking time to meditate? Are you taking time to get out in nature and enjoy the sunshine or even the rain? There was a time I danced in the rain and it felt amazing. It was like Gaia washing away the day. It was so invigorating. So there are many things you can do to nurture your soul. So try different things. If you need to learn how to meditate, take a course in it or join a meditation group or go on YouTube. Believe me, I use a YouTube video every single night before I go to sleep just to meditate, to clear my mind of whatever it is I need to clear my mind from and maybe program myself with some more positive affirmations every night. But it helps me sleep and it helps me get rid of the day. 
of the negative stuff maybe I've had happen. But nurture your spirit, whether it's yoga, going out in the nature, or just meditating. But do something to nurture your spirit every single day. And make sure you do that today as well. Okay? So we're going to go back over these cards one more time. So remember that even though you may have lost something, you must count the blessings of what you have still in your life. Because I guarantee there is something. If you're still alive, you can be grateful for that, for your body and for your life. Never just think you've lost everything because we cannot lose everything. And that's an impossibility as long as we're still walking and breathing. Because there's other paths for us and there's lessons that we must learn. It's okay to grieve if you've lost a lot of things, if you've lost a person, if you've lost material possessions, a pet. It's okay to grieve. It helps us heal little by little it never goes away, but it gets easier to live with every day. But you have to be patient with yourself. Don't give up. Reach out. Talk to other people. Try not to stay down. Remember, try to lift up your vibration. Do something to help yourself lift that up. Whether it's watch a comedy or go out and take a walk or read a positive book, or listen to a motivational speaker, or just reach out to a friend and go and have a cup of coffee or tea. Do something. Don't give up. Time heals in its own way. It makes things a little easier. But it never really kind of goes away. But do something every single day to nurture your spirit, nurture your soul. It is very important on this journey to do something every day, even if it's something really small. Pick up a stone or a crystal or something if you don't have a lot of time and just feel the energy for a moment. But do something to nurture your spirit every single day. I hope you enjoyed this reading today. I hope it gave you some guidance. If you are seeking a personal reading, I am available daily. You can see my website, willalamashant.com. The link is down below in the description. I also do grief counseling and life coaching. There's multiple things that maybe I could help you with. But check out my website. It'll show all my services. Please follow me on Facebook and on Instagram. Um, the links are below, also in the description. I'd love to have you join. I love to have my friends join me. And also, if you are seeking Distance Reiki Divine Source Healing on Sunday nights, don't forget to send me your name or the name of loved ones that you would like me to add to the list. I send this energy out every Sunday night, generally about 9 p.m. So just remember that. Um, I welcome anybody that needs healing, whether it's mind, body, spirit, if it's emotional, that's fine. If you have had a physical ailment, that's fine. If you are hurting spiritually, that's okay. Send me your name and the divine energy will be sent to you on Sunday nights. And I hope you do have a wonderful day. Get ready for the weekend. I'll have a double reading for you for tomorrow, for Saturday and Sunday. And until then, be blessed.